Following up for you tonight, we're getting answers about the Pueblo Police Department's decision to start encrypting their radio channels. The app was being used by a handful of Facebook groups to alert the public about potential crimes. So what does this mean for the future of those public safety groups? Only on News 5, our Laura Wilson joins us from our Pueblo studio with this report. Laura. Well, what people liked so much about this app is that you could pull it up either on your phone or on your computer like we have right now. This is the Colorado State Patrol channel that's streaming because the police and fire channel is offline again tonight. But what you could do is listen to this in live time, go into a Facebook community group, and really in a matter of seconds, you could post what's going on, like I said, in live time. But police feel that that convenience was doing more harm than good. In about a month's time, these police and fire channels will be nothing but white noise to the public. There's going to be the issue of less transparency. A lot of people are going to trip about not being able to actively listen. Cecil Caraway is one of the moderators for the original Pueblo Scanner Alert Facebook group. On every, almost every comment thread, there's a good two or three people that have said that they either have scanners and they're listening to them as well, or they are also posting. The priority for this group was always public safety and awareness by helping people steer clear of dangerous areas. But police say it was also helping criminals steer clear of officers, citing several examples during high-speed chases with violent felons who knew which areas to avoid. That increased the danger to the public, it increased the danger to the officers, and it wasn't as if it was a question. Their use of that scanner app was confirmed. Even without access to those scanners, Caraway says there's still a need for groups like this in Pueblo. We're going to try and keep people up to date with most wanted and, you know, like uh, recent arrests and like crime and theft prevention tips. He posted a poll today asking the group how to move forward, with most people opting to transition into a neighborhood community watch group. He says they're now working on a new set of rules, which he hopes will discourage vigilante-type justice and instead encourage the community to work together. Even if it's uh, property damage or a, a stolen or suspicious vehicle, post it and we'll keep an eye out and try and do our part to help you find it and get it back. And as far as media outlets go, police tell me today that we will still have access to those encrypted channels. Now, likely what's going to happen, they're still working out details, but what they think is going to happen is we'll be purchasing new radio equipment, and then from there, police would program those channels onto the new equipment for us. But we'll keep you posted on what happens next. Watching out for you in the Pueblo Newsroom, Laura Wilson, News 5.